Hi everyone, uh, I'm Tony from Pixel and in this video I'm going to show you how to use JupyterLab embedded inside of Microsoft Excel. Uh, after my previous video on Jupyter Notebooks in Excel, some people got in touch and said they absolutely loved it uh, and asked whether it would be possible to use JupyterLab instead of the more basic Jupyter Notebook. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. Before I show you how to do that, uh, I want to talk a little bit about why you might want to do this. So many, many people use Excel to work with data and produce reports all the time, uh, but some tasks are just better done in Python. Uh, Python has so many toolkits for data analysis, and there are just loads of benefits to using Python over, over VBA. But if you're a VBA developer and you're happy with that, then that's great. Uh, I'm not going to try and convince you to learn Python in, in this video, uh, but if you're already sold on Python, then you already know what I'm talking about. So Excel, on the other hand, uh, is way better than Python for interactive work, for quickly building reports and dashboards and that kind of thing. Uh, and there are many, many Excel users who are, who are not Python developers. So if you're working as part of a team, then most likely you'll be working with people who use Excel all the time. Uh, by combining Python into Excel, you can expose your Python functions to be called directly from Excel. And even an Excel user with no knowledge of Python can then use your Python functions uh, in Excel and build spreadsheets powered by your Python code. Uh, I like to think of Excel as a super flexible user interface tool on top of your Python code, much in the same way you might write a web app on top of your Python code. Now, typically we would write our Python code in a Python IDE like PyCharm or VS Code, uh, and that's generally how I recommend writing modules and packages that you later want to expose to Excel. Uh, if you're already used to using a Jupyter Notebook, however, uh, this can seem a bit, a bit old school, uh, and you might prefer the interactive, immediate nature of working in a notebook. What I'm going to show you is how you can use Jupyter Lab in Excel, uh, and that's a great way to play around with code and try stuff out uh, so later you can, you can take that code and reuse it in an Excel add-in. First of all, you'll need to install Pixel, the Python Excel add-in. Uh, I'm not going to go through that in this video, but if you go to pixelpyxll.com, you'll find all the details you need there, uh, or check one of my previous videos where I go through how you do that. Once you've got the Pixel add-in installed, uh, the next thing you'll need to do is install the Pixel Jupyter package using pip. Uh, if you already installed that, then make sure you get the latest version now uh, to get that Jupyter Lab functionality. Once that's all installed, if we open Excel with the Pixel add-in already loaded, we'll see this Jupyter button in Excel. Uh, if you click that and everything's installed correctly, then we get this Jupyter Notebook appearing. Uh, and in here we can write our Python code, uh, interact with Excel, create worksheet functions, and, and all that kind of great stuff. If you've not seen this before, uh, I would recommend taking a look at my previous video uh, where we go into all of this stuff in a lot more detail. Uh, and if anything isn't working for you at this stage, then check your pixel log file for any errors, uh, and usually that will tell you what's going wrong. Okay, now I'll show you how to get Jupyter Lab working instead of the more basic Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, you'll need to install Jupyter Lab first using pip, uh, and for this to work, we actually need at least version 4 of Jupyter Lab. Uh, at the time that I'm recording this video, that hasn't actually been released yet, uh, but there is a pre-release version available, and so we can use the pre-flag to pip to install that. Uh, if you've already got JupyterLab installed, you'll need to use the upgrade flag to pip as well uh, to get the latest JupyterLab installed. Uh, let's try running JupyterLab first to make sure that everything looks good. Uh, once that comes up, we can see that we are in fact running version 4 of JupyterLab. Uh, now what we need to do is tell the Pixel add-in that we want to use Jupyter Lab instead of Jupyter Notebook. And to do that, we edit the Pixel config file and add a new Jupyter section. And in that section, we add the subcommand option and set that to lab. Once that's done and we've saved the file, uh, when we start Excel now and click the Jupyter button, instead of the Jupyter Notebook, we've now got the Jupyter Lab page showing instead. And as before, we can use this to run our Python code, we can interact with Excel and try stuff out, uh, which we might later want to refactor into Excel functions and macros and, and that kind of thing, and include those in our, our Pixel project. So uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe on YouTube. 
Uh, and if you have any questions, then please get in touch via the website pixel.com. And thanks for watching.